Hello guys, welcome back to my channel JNTU Explainer. Today we are covering the topic number 3 in CCIDF Unit 1 Types of Cyber Crimes. Before getting into the examples, let's learn how, there are, how many types of cyber crimes are there. There are two, ma two main types which are targeting computers and using computers. Let's learn what these types are. So this is basically a, a computer and uh, let's learn what is first targeting computers here they target the computer from which they want the data or from which they want all any kind of stuff and and it will be in many types viruses malware and data breaching exam etc here they take a computer and they try to insert malware viruses other activities so the other the other is using computers here they do the crimes using a computer to a computer in which they use their computer the like uh, cyber cyber crime attacker to the victims computer basically from starting of the crime to ending of the crime they deal only with the using a computer these cyber crimes are classified into four types individual organization property society let's briefly learn about them like we we already know and in individual in individual they mainly focus on a individual person to take uh, to take sensitive data of that particular person rather than focusing on many other in organization we all know what is an organization it is a group of person where uh, many people work to work together that means they, there is a possibility that that they can like target many people at a time so this is a ta ta classified into one, another type of cyber crime and third third is property property means they mainly focus on the property or any personal thing of a person like uh, you we all know what is meant by credit card carding so they focus on a property of a person in which they can drop money by using a carding carding hack and the fourth one society uh, in this cyber cyber terrorism can be a big uh, example to use because they don't know with whom they to whom they are targeting uh, what they will get but they target a huge people we, which comes under a society now let's look into some of the common cyber crimes uh, they, this, they, this can be classified from all the above classifications like individual organization property or society the first one is phishing and scam phishing and scam usually i will explain through an example they may be attackers these attackers send fake emails messages and links to the targeted persons and when the person whom they targets click the link by unknowingly or knowingly they directly attack the sensitive data of that person so this is a type of attack which is use, used many times uh, in a cyber crime let's get into the second second uh, common cyber crime identity theft so by using an example i will try to explain identity theft is for example you are the person uh, you have your personal credit card or your personal account uh, etc what this attacker does is he uses your credit card your uh, your account details and he, he he commits a fraud in a in the name of yours which no one gets doubt like when when he is using your information very correctly how will they get the doubt that he is making a fraud 
so this type of fraud is called as identity theft the fourth one is hacking it's just misusing or tampering some some files in our system like a small boy who is around 13 to 15 years they start hacking for using complete uh, uh, complete game or acquire the complete games and they they download some types of apk's which help them to tamper the games uh, files and give them unlimited things what they want from the game now coming to the internet fraud it is a fraud which is done through internet we all know internet is a most used platform uh, in the society here the attackers uh, targets any people on the who is available on the internet and tries to do of, uh, or commits to do fraud with him using many things like uh, illegal approaches or theft of service banking frauds uh, sending spam emails etc now let's get let's get into the next topic where some of the other uh, small crimes but it doesn't mean that they are small they also leave an impact on the user like cyber bullying cyber bullying this is a common thing which which is neglected by many of the people Bull, uh, cyber bullying is sending hate to a person through online we we may be doing it this in fun but the person who is getting or we, the person who is getting bullied may pass through different stages in life like depression or many other negative thoughts second is cyber stalking cyber stalking is mainly a person getting stalked like if if i if i am getting stalked he the person who is stalking me keeps all the record of me where i am going when i what i am doing by using by using or keeping an eye on my uh, internet software privacy here all the privacy of the person who is being on the internet may be disturbed social media frauds social media frauds is uh, making fake accounts to perform any kind of harmful activities like impersonating other users or sending intimidating or threatening messages this is mostly we all know by uh, in the name of youtubers they impersonate them and they try to uh, take money from us in the name of uh, other big youtubers and fourth one uh, fifth one is online drug trafficking this is uh, using vps they try they like they don't get themselves tracked but they do this kind of trafficking which is very harmful for the society and the other is cyber extortion like the cyber extortion means uh, cyber extortion is a demand for money by cyber criminals to give back some important data they have stolen or stopped during malicious activities and the last one is online recruitment fraud we all know what is this in the name of giving a job they take some some uh, money from us and that's it from there once they receive the money there is no link between us them and the job so that's it guys hope you understood the video and if you have any doubt please comment down below i will try to make a new video from the doubt thank you so much